y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and sis if you are not following me on instagram and twitter make sure you do that at the hair life first video i filmed in 2019 what feels so good to be back in front of the camera so you guys i'm about to show y'all how i got this sleek ponytail super quick easy and simple i will be doing like a more affordable version of this really soon so make sure you got that notification bell on and follow me on ig to know when it's gonna drop so i am not gonna ramble you guys let's get into the video as you guys can see my hair is up in a ponytail and then you can see my edges are broken off and they're really thin so i took this really really small pressing comb like has really really small teeth and it's really little to press my edges and stuff out so I kind of could leave this but I want to press out the rest of my so I'm just going to take my electric pressing comb and uh, press out my roots all around the perimeter of my head if your hair is not already previously straight just um if you can get your hair straight with eco go ahead and do that I can do that as well I just did this because it was already straightened but you do not need to go and do this extra step if you can get your hair like nice and sleek with eco so now I'm taking my rat tail comb and I'm just like separating my edges from the rest of my hair and I'm not gonna like lay all of this down because it was too much and I'm gonna take that comb and slick my hair up into a ponytail this will not be the final ponytail I just use this ponytail to mold my hair up to where I wanted it to be so to slick my pony, I'm using beeswax, and I'm going to show you guys what mine looks like. I don't know if this is a Michigan thing. I don't know if anybody else does this, so y'all let me know. But we, like, heat ours up around here. Um, it just works a lot better than using it, like, when it's really, really hard. So um, I usually put mine, like, by the stove or in the microwave, but I don't want nobody blowing nothing up because I told y'all that is what I like to do, and everybody that i've gotten my hair done by in saginaw or detroit um yeah we eat beeswax up in michigan so i'm just using that with a fine tooth comb to slick my hair up so i'm using this beeswax all around the perimeter of my hair and i'm just taking my comb and smoothing it upwards up to that ponytail so i did use this beeswax on my edges but i have never liked beeswax on my edges i don't know why i started to do this I don't know I I don't know you guys but um beeswax doesn't hold my edges good it holds like my actual hair fine but my edges it doesn't lay it down so I was kind of just going through the motions of doing my edges and I'm like what are you doing like what are you doing so you know after I came to my senses like we already know this doesn't work I went ahead and grabbed my good old faithful culture company edge tamer y'all know if y'all are og on my channel y'all know like culture company edge tamer is bae like oh my god if y'all haven't tried it yet you are sleep sis it's so bomb so i use that and i'm just using that little dual ended um edge brush y'all can get that from your local beauty supply store if ours in saginaw has it then y'all definitely has them and they're like a dollar so i just like to use that to lay down my edges and just keep in mind you guys do not have to do your edges how i do mine i do my edges how I like my edges look you do your edges how you like your edges look you know however you feel comfortable wearing yours so i did redo the ponytail already and now i'm spraying it with some hairspray i do not spray that got to be spray on my hair anymore i know in like my last bun video i use that i do not spray that spray on my hair anymore because i feel like that contributed to my edges thinning out because i was doing that bun a lot and that spray has a lot of alcohol in it which dries your hair out moving on i'm taking my hair and i'm going to braid it down um it can be tight it can be loose whatever you want however you, you know how to braid you want to secure the ends with a scrunchie or a rubber band so I have two old bundles of hair, you guys, and I want to say one is from Elisa and one is from Ali Pearl. 
you guys can get bundles from wherever and i believe that they were both 22 inches so i'm just brushing them out i had co-washed them the night before because like i said this hair is really really old so i'm just going to continue to use these for ponies so i just took my flat iron and ran it through because it kind of had like a slight wave in it so i'm gonna do that so you guys this is where stuff got a little like no so i tried that method where you take your needle and sew it to the bottom of your scrunchie and then you just keep wrapping the hair around and around and around and around and around to get to the top um since no this method did not work for what i was going for the ponytail turned out limp as hell that is not the look that i was going for at all it works for the people it did not work for me take it back to where you just you know wrap your uh own hair wrap that little braid up into a bun as tight as you can get it and i'm the only difference from like the old school version of this and like kind of updated is i didn't use not one bobby pin all right so here i am starting over so i'm taking a piece a small piece of that track like the actual hair and i'm going to wrap that around the base of the bun so that bottom part of the bun and I put this in real time so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just taking that and wrapping it around. I'm kind of like slightly tugging on it so it'll be nice and tight and secure. So that's what we're going to do. We're not using any bobby pins, you guys. And this ponytail is still on my head. She's still secure. She's not going anywhere, I promise y'all. So wrap that around. And then we are going to take the tracks. And they are doubled. And we're going to wrap it around and around and around until we get around it. Now, make sure that you do wrap up on that bun some so your bun will not be sticking out when your ponytail is finished. You guys, I was not in the frame how I should have been, but you want to just wrap it around your bun. Just keep wrapping until you run out of track and make sure that you wrap up on the bun. Like, go up on that base a little bit so your bun won't be showing. And to secure that, when you get to the end of that bundle, that first bundle, you're going to take another skinny piece of hair and you're going to wrap it around the base just like we did to secure it initially. I'm just brushing it out, brushing all the hair out to make sure nothing, you know, got caught or tangled up. So when I do high ponytails, I like them to sit up. So um, what I'm going to do, I got this little tip from Simone Charisse. So I gather all the hair up and I'm going to place a rubber band around the ball and like this tip was so genius y'all like it was bomb so wrap a rubber band around your ball so like that ball is going to be closed up i did end up taking this off after i wrapped my second bundle around um because it was just kind of awkward and in the way for me so we're going to do the same thing with securing that skinny piece of hair around the base and then wrapping this second bundle around until we get to the end so now that i have that second bundle secured i'm brushing the hair out again to make sure that there's no tangles so i'm going to the back of the ponytail and i'm going to take out a nice thick chunk of hair and like you when you do this you want to make sure that it is nice and smooth so i took my rat tail comb and smooth this piece of hair out and i'm going to spray it down with some hairspray you can use um spritz spritz would probably work better for this than like the hairspray that i use um i just didn't feel like getting up to get any spritz honestly and truly but um yeah spritz would definitely work better so you just want to make sure that it is nice and smooth out and you want to wrap that piece around your ponytail it just looks so sleek you guys like it just really completes your ponytail so you want to do that and then to secure this um you just spray spritz on it i know some people like to put glue on the end but like like i said you guys we're not using glue we're not using any like outside tools like that so you can use some spritz and it will spray down um and then you can like just take a blow dryer and make sure it dries and it's like flat down to the actual ponytail so that is all there is to this pony i kind of brushed it over to the side um i'll post pictures for you guys um i already have some pictures on instagram so like i said make sure you follow me on the gram and yeah you guys that was all that there was to this ponytail i will be doing another affordable pony for you guys really soon so stay tuned for that and if you guys want to see this makeup look 
follow me on the gram girl because i will be posting all my makeup looks like makeup videos on instagram until further notice so make sure you do that thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe share this video and i will catch y'all in my next one bye